Hi you guys, welcome to Elena for Crafts. So I wanted to come on to show you a couple of DIY Christmas embellishments that you can just use um, what you have or what you bought from your hauls. So I'm just doing some crafting right now and just making some um, pockets, some embellishments, and then I am going to do some clips. So I brought out all my washi tape, um, my Christmas washi, and I just add them in here. And I keep it right by my desk just so when I'm using washi tape or I need it, I'm not like looking for it. I mean, I do have those ones where you organize your washi. I have those, but I'm talking about season washi tape. So I just left this one in here because I'm still using it for fall. And then that one and then the rest is just um, some Christmas ones that I will be using right now. I didn't put all of them, just those. And so, um, so washi tape is great to use. So as you remember, I got this book from Dollar Tree and I will be creating, um, a daily December. And so this one's a lot smaller compared to the other one I did. So I wanted to do something a lot smaller and this is, I already did the pages, tore them out, and um, did a couple pockets. I'm doing this one a lot different. And there you go. So I still got to paint my pages and stuff. But I wanted to show you um, what it looks like when you get all that done. Because then you take all the pages out. See, and that's how it looks, like that. So I'm very, very excited to see how that comes out because that one I'm doing a lot different. And then these are all the pages that I took out. Um, so I wanted to use them. And so what I did is um, I made some pockets. So I'm making some long ones and then some uh, short ones. Let's see. So, as you can see, you can make a pocket. You can even make cocoa pockets to put, you know, hot cocoa and stuff like that for Happy Mail or loved ones or stocking stuffers or anything like that. So, I made some long ones and then I made some little ones. So, I made those and then this is what I came up with and then I covered it with some paper. And this is my first one. I just love how this one came out. So cute. So I did that one. Um, the next one that I did is this one. Just that. They are so cute. And it's a great way to um, use these up. And um, here's the next one. And all the Christmas, like all this stuff, is all from my stash. So I'm really happy to be using that from my stash. So cute. And I think, yeah, I think that was it that I just uh, made. And I wanted to show you um, how I did those. Or you can just do your own out of Christmas paper. And, um make pockets like that or if you have one of your scoreboards I have a scoreboard but I wanted to do them like this because they're already kind of done for you you know that's what I wanted to do so um and let me go ahead and show you some embellishments that I did um I did that one I just added stickers on there and it was a tag from a paper pad just made my own embellishments just so I can have to um, 
use for my projects and stuff. So let me, I have a couple more because I did, um, I did different ones last night. So there's that one. Here's this one. There's a small one. I love this one. This one's so cute. So you can just bring out your scraps and um, and any Christmas paper that, you know, you have leftovers from making cards or books. Cut them up, add some banners, make your own banners if you don't have the punch. And just glue them all together and then add those Dollar Tree stickers. That's a great way to use the Dollar Tree stickers. So you can pretty much just make your own embellishments if you don't have um if you don't have any Christmas embellishments, just bring out your paper and use them up. So um this is one of the pockets that I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did that. And then uh, I cut up some paper. This is the paper that I'm using. And it is the, um, the holiday bash paper from Michaels. And it's this one. Um, uh, I'm sure everybody's seen this one. So it's the holiday bash and that's what I'm using. And so I want to go ahead and show you how I did, um, those. So it's pretty easy. You just cover them with paper and that's pretty much, that's it. So I'm going to grab some paper right here and just kind of, um, um, just glue it and, um, that's pretty much it. Just gluing it together. Okay. So I just needed to cut a little bit on the top and then um i am going to let me grab my atg gun here she is <laughs> i had to go ahead and so i am going to just um just glue it a little bit so i can add the adhesive so i can add it on the pocket so that's pretty much it. You just um, make your pockets and then just cover up, cover them up with Christmas paper or fall paper. But I'm just making some pockets just so I can have them ready and for some swaps that I have to do and send out stuff. So, um, I love having these ready so I can just grab them and fill them up and not take the time to make them because they're done already. Because I'm pretty sure all the stuff that I'm doing, they will be gone. <laughs> and it makes my job and my hobby a lot less work because I'm doing it ahead of time. So, like I did my fall cards, so I did those ahead of time, so I have some fall cards already made up. Which last year, I didn't have that. Last year, I didn't have them. Um, I was like running behind. Um, they weren't made up. And so, um, this time, I did it a lot different, so... Which really works out when you uh, plan ahead. <laughs> but sometimes that don't always work that way. Okay, so I did the front and then that's the back. And then you can add a washi tape. So let's go ahead. Let me do the long one. Let's do the long one first. And then we can go ahead and let me just do one. So this is the long one and I just glued the sides and so they're already ready to uh, 
So I'm just going to go ahead and add the paper here. Just kind of uh, let's see, see which would be the yeah, it would be this one. And then I have some smaller, um, smaller blank uh, cards and some envelopes that I do want to use. So let's go ahead and do this first. So it's just some um, pockets you can do, um, some embellishments, and just use them up, you know, and make some fun um, Christmas things that you can either use as a tag on your Christmas gifts or on your homemade gifts, anything like that. Okay, so I am going to... And then you can use your washi tape. That's another thing. Um, I love using my washi tapes. I'm always trying to think of how can I use washi tape? How can I um, add washi tape so I can use them? So there you go. That's the long one. And then I'm going to do the back. So we'll um, see how we can do that. See, and I cut up these papers and they're already like, you know, you're using them up already, you know, instead of having pieces left over. And um, I usually just put them in the pile or put it in my clear sleeve that I have for all the um, leftover cutouts. So, um, I hope you enjoy this um, video and it helps you out. Um, let me know if you really like these kind of videos and I will do um, more of these um videos so you can um either make it your own and add your touch to it because i was doing these and i just thought you know what i'm gonna go ahead and do a video just so i can share how i create my things that you can also do it too so that's the back and then that's the front. So I want to use a washi tape because it's fun to use washi tape, right? So I'm thinking, um, let's see. I want to use this one. It says Merry and Bright. I'm going to go ahead and use that one. And there was another one that I was using. Um, let's see if, oh, here it is. I want to use that one. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add this one right now. These are great to even add in your um, daily December. Or to just add some of your embellishments that you want to use. Or send it out to someone. Like with a Christmas card. Look at how cute that is. I think that is so cute. Let me see. Let me add some in the back as well. I mean, it's like when it's the holiday, doesn't everybody want to like make more things, do more DIYs, <laughs> you know? So I'm going to use this one now because I know I do. I'm like, I want to make this. I want to make that. But, you know, you can only do so much. <laughs> okay. And you would never think that I was using, like, book paper, right? 
you would just think, oh, okay, she made her envelope. And this washi tape I got from Michael's and their and their bins that they sell all those washi tape for a dollar. That's where I grabbed this one from. You see how cute that looks. I love doing uh, stuff like this. And I can't wait. Um, that book, I'm going to be using one of my new paper pads Christmas from Michaels. So um, look out for that. That's going to be fun. So this is the front. Look at how cute that is. Who would have ever thought that that all I used was just this paper? So um, you can use your leftovers. And it's great to, uh, if you want to use them for, to make tags or anything like that. Those are great for that too. Okay. So, um... Look at that. So now I got the front. Let me make sure that, um, make sure it is glue correctly. Okay. Let me add a little bit of glue. Okay, now that we got that, oh, here we go, and so there's your pocket, and um, this one here, I am going to add a uh, washi tape because I didn't add washi tape in that one okay so I went ahead and finished the small one so that's the front and then that's the back and then we did this one the long one so that looks cute right and we can um, use our stickers here. So we're going to go ahead and use one of these stickers here. Let's go ahead and do the little owl. I think the owl is so cute. Then we'll also... Um, let's see... So we got the gingerbread house and the owl, and then um, these are from Dollar Tree, which I had these from last year, so look at how cute that looks. Oh my god, I love that. And then we'll add a red bow. Look at that. Is that not the cutest thing? <laughs> so I want to add something a little bigger on the big envelope. So I'm going to add the bow right in the middle. And the Christmas trees we will add in each corner. If, you, if I'm not showing you, like, directly, I will show you once I put it together. But look at that. I think that looks so cute. And um, let me see to add um, a sticker here. What about Bambi? There we go. 
probably have to add a little bit. Look at how cute that is. Is that not the cutest thing? Oh my gosh. That is the cutest thing. Okay. And I want to go ahead and use one of my sticker books. Um, let's see. This one that I got from um, Michael's a while back um, when they first brought these out. So I am going to use Happy Holidays. I can't believe how fast the holidays came really, they came too quick if you ask me. <laughs> and... This is just so cute. Look at all these. That is just too cute. Okay. So there we go. I'm probably going to have to add some glossy accent to that. Just because this is a sticker from last year. I want to make sure that um, it really stays. Okay. And I'm just sticking that down. Look at how cute that looks. I really love um so if you have if you know if you have just paper or anything, um bring those out and make some pockets and to decorate so you can have them ready um whenever you need to uh send out and um so as you can see i did that one there's another one that i did that one and that one so i love all these that i created um I would totally be making more of these so I can just fill them up and um, send them out with my cards and stuff like that. Look at how cute that is. So I'm making sure that sticker stays. And um, that's just from using these. So look at I have these two that I still got to do. And, and I also did these ones, too. I used the Christmas cupcake liners. And I had these from last year. So I went ahead and made some. That one. So I made probably like 12 of them. Just so I can have. So um, when I need some embellishments to add on a tag or a card or anything like that. So I wanted to do those and um, I want to finish doing these two and um, my embellishments that I showed you that I did, I just added, uh, I added a long um, banner and then glued the, the small banners and the sticker and then just added the snowman. They were just cutouts. So it's just things like this that you can create and use up. So I hope you enjoy this video and um, you get creative. And I'm going to use these ones to make some clips. I got these at Hobby Lobby. I bought me two packs. So I'll be using those. So yeah, this is my video. So um Thank you for stopping by and I hope this um, inspires you and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye you guys.